welcome you all to principles of organic synthesis. So far we had 9 lectures where we studied the formation of aliphatic carbon carbon bonds. The first model we saw the use of base as catalyst, then we saw the reactions using acid as catalyst. At the end of the uh, model 2 we saw the use of organometallic reagents for the carbon carbon bond formation. Today we will start the construction of carbon nitrogen bond. This is also very important transformation if you want to make uh, heterocyclic compounds for example having nitrogen atom this is uh, one of the efficient uh, approach to make carbon nitrogen bond and their application for the heterocyclic compounds. The principle for the carbon nitrogen bond formation shown in this slide as you can see if the nitrogen is in equilibrium enough it can undergo addition reaction with the electrophile let us take for example formaldehyde already we have seen if you see the electronegativity of uh, this one 3.6 2.5 this carbon is electrophilic nature because bi bond pair is polarized towards oxygen. So, when you have the nucleophilic nitrogen it can undergo addition reaction to give the addition product. For example, if you react with a secondary amine it can lead to addition to give the product and it depends upon the substituent if hydrogen it can undergo elimination to the ship base. On the other hand if you have secondary amine you can get this uh, amino alkyl as the product. On the other hand if you have for example, methyl iodide if you have amine which can act as a nucleophile which can undergo uh, substitution reaction SN2 reaction and you will be able to form plus hydrogen iodide. So, if the nitrogen is nucleophile or nucleophilic nitrogen if you have electrophile it can undergo addition or substitution reaction. Uh, for example, we have seen the first example involves the reaction of formaldehyde where the carbonyl group acts as a electrophile which undergoes reaction with this amine which acts as a nucleophile you can get the addition product. The second example we have seen the reaction of secondary amine with methyl iodide which undergoes nucleophilic substitution this is a nucleophile here this is carbon is electrophile. So, it undergoes a nucleophilic substitution to give this methyl amine as a product. The other example if you have the acid chloride similar way if you have amine it can undergo addition reaction and you will be able to form So, now this can be converted into amide plus HCl. So, these are the sum of the example for the reaction of nucleophilic nitrogen with the electrophilic carbons. On the other hand, if the nitrogen is electrophilic, it can undergo reaction with the nucleophilic carbon. For example, uh, let us take uh, this one, this here the nitrogen is electrophilic in nature therefore, whenever you have the nucleophile now uh, it can undergo addition reaction you will get the uh, addition product. So, this is the principles of the formation of carbon nitrogen bond is shown in this slide. As we have seen if the nitrogen is nucleophilic it can undergo uh, reaction with uh, electrophile carbon then you can make carbon nitrogen bond 
Alternatively, if you have electrophilic nitrogen, then you can react with the nucleophilic carbon. In this way, you can make a carbon nitrogen bond. Now, let us look at uh, some of the examples. The Ritter reaction is shown. All of you know very well. If you have tertiary alcohol or alkene, substituted alkene, for example, when you react with acid, and you will be able to form a carbocation. Once you form the carbocation, if you add a nitrile, which can undergo addition reaction here, you will be able to form aluminium ion, which when you do the work of, when you add water, it will be converted into amide. So, if you have a tertiary alcohol or substituted alkene, for example, here we have the isobutene, when you have the isobutene or uh, tertiary butanol, when you react with the acid and in this case, uh, this will protonate and you will form the hydronium ion. Once you form So, this can leave, you will be able to form tertiary carbocation. Similarly, if you have the alkene, now the alkene can add here, then you will be able to form the tertiary carbocation. Once you form this uh, stable tertiary carbocation, which can readily undergo reaction with the lone pair of the nitrogen, and you will be able to form the aluminium ion. Once if you form the aluminium ion, which can uh, be uh, reacted with water, where which can act as a nucleophile that aluminum ion can act as electrophile addition reaction and you will be able to form the amide as a product. The advantages of uh, Ritter reaction shown here, if you have the secondary and tertiary and benzyl alcohol, they can be easily converted into corresponding amide. They can be readily reacted with the nitrile, you will be able to form the amide. The reaction can be carried out at moderate temperature with uh, good yields. On the other hand, if you have the primary alcohol and they are required vigorous reaction conditions, you end up with byproducts. So, this reaction is good uh, if you have the secondary tertiary or benzylic alcohols to get the corresponding amides. The mechanism of this transformation shown here, just we have seen and protonation of this OH group, you can generate the hydronium ion. Once you form this one, it can uh, eliminate loose water molecule by E1 elimination, you will be able to form the tertiary carbocation, which is uh, stable once you form this one which can be readily reacted with the nitrile and you will be able to form this salt once you form this one this will be converted into this aluminium ion as you can see here now we have the aluminium ion this water can now undergo addition reaction and you will be able to form this intermediate, this can lose uh, a proton. If you have water, it can remove a proton, then you will be able to form this intermediate. Once you form this imine, this can be converted into this amide by uh, proton transfer as is shown here. So, in this way, if you have the tertiary alcohol, it can be readily converted into the amide uh, in good yield at moderate temperature using acid and where you can see here you make a new carbon nitrogen bond between this carbon, this nitrogen of the nitrile, you can make a new carbon nitrogen bond. Now, let us see some of the uh, examples uh, here. Uh, the first reaction involves the reaction of cyclohexene with acrylonitrile. As we have seen the presence of acid, uh, it can uh, produce this amide. As just we have seen, uh, when you have the acid, so, it can undergo addition reaction, then you will be able to form the corresponding carbocation, secondary carbocation. Once you form this one as just we have seen, which can now this can react and you will be able to form. So, this can uh, react with the water, 
will be able to form So, this can lose photon So, this can convert into amide as the product. Similarly, if you have this uh, tertiary alcohol uh, which can be readily reacted with this uh, nitrile uh, compound which can in the presence of uh, sulfuric acid in acetic acid medium and you will be able to generate this amide. In this way you can make a carbon nitrogen bond between this uh, nitrogen and this carbon of this uh, tertiary alcohol. These two are examples for the intermolecular reactions. So, what you do here the first one you have the alkene. Uh, which undergoes reaction with the acrylonitrile, you make this amide. The second example involves a tertiary alcohol which undergoes reaction with this nitrile in the presence of sulfuric acid, acetic acid medium to give this amide as a product. The third example involves an intramolecular uh, cyclization. As uh, we have seen, uh, this is a, a benzylic alcohol. Now, when you do the protonation, and you will be able to form the corresponding a carbocation. Now, So, this can now once you form the carbocation which can now undergo intramolecular reaction, uh, you will be able to form The imenium ion can now undergo reaction with water molecule present the reaction medium will be able to form This uh, intermediate which can be converted into uh, the amide as the product. So, now let us look at, so if you remember uh, this, uh, these are the some of the example for the return reaction. So, if you have a tertiary alcohol, they are ideal substates, they can readily convert it into the corresponding amides. We also have seen alkene. If you have substituted alkene, they also can be converted into the corresponding amide when we react with the uh, uh, nitrile in the presence of acid uh, as catalyst. Here an example shown uh, where the reaction of this uh, secondary alcohol uh, is shown in the presence of uh, sulfuric acid and which can be readily reacted with uh, astronitrile uh, which has uh, this uh, chromium tricarbonyl substituent to give the corresponding amide as the product. In this uh, substrate, this uh, chromium tricarbonyl stabilizes the carbocation intermediate to facilitate this reaction. 
Uh, this slide shows uh, the reaction of a secondary alcohol into amide in the presence of this should be cobalt 2 chloride. Nastic anhydride and astronitrile uh, in the presence of astronitrile. Uh, in this uh, reaction, first this alcohol, allylic alcohol, is converted into acetate. So then it further reacts with uh, astronitrile to give. amide as a product. If you uh, look at the mechanism as already well known, if you have alcohol if you take acetic anhydride So, in the presence of Lewis acid where cobalt chloride acts as a Lewis acid, it can easily convert this allylic alcohol into acetate as a product. Once you form the allylic acetate, and when you uh, react this allylic acetate with cobalt chloride in the presence of astronitrile, uh, what happens? The cobalt chloride reacts with astronitrile and form a complex form this uh, cobalt complex. Once you form this one, when you add the allylic acetate, the substrate it form a biallyl complex you form this uh, intermediate once you form this one now now this can transform intramolecularly You form this intermediate. This once you form, as we have seen, now this can react with. It can convert into. You have acetic acid in the reaction medium. You'll be able to form.
So, this can transform into a state which when you do the base hydrolysis which will be converted into which will transform into the amide as the product. So, in this reaction first cobalt chloride first acts as a Lewis acid, the acylation of this alcohol takes place, you get the acetate as the product. Once you form this one and this acetate undergoes further reaction with the cobalt complex that can be generated from the astronitrile and cobalt chloride and you will be able to form a biallyl complex as is shown here. Once you form this one, now this can now intramolecularly transfer the nitrile to the uh, this carbon, then you will be able to form uh, this uh, cation intermediate. Once you form this one convert into this imenium ion, that imenium ion can act as a electrophile which will undergo addition reaction with this acetic acid, you will be able to generate uh, this intermediate which can now when you do the uh, base hydrolysis and you will be able to generate uh, this uh, imine uh, as a derivative. Once you form this one, it can convert into the amide as a product. So, uh, once uh, you form this one, this can further react with uh, another molecule of astronitrile. You have generated when you take uh, this you can in this process you generate this when you react so it will convert into uh, this uh, uh, cobalt to complex to complete the catalytic cycle so basically you need here catalytic amount of cobalt to chloride there, then if you have it, you can try to convert the allylic alcohol into the corresponding allylic amide as a product. The next example involves the reaction of uh, this uh, alkyl chloride with the tin uh, tetrachloride to produce this uh, primary carbocation. Once you form this one which undergoes a reaction with this uh, astronitrile to give this, once you form this salt which can undergo intramolecular cyclization as you have the this access electrophile now the aromatic ring under can undergo reaction then you will be able to form So, this uh, you will be able to form this intermediate, once you form this one now this can uh, lose a proton then you will be able to form this compound. So, in this the primary chloride in this in the presence of tin tetrachloride is converted into uh, the primary carbocation which acts as electrophile which undergoes addition reaction with this lone pair of uh, the nitrile to give this uh, salt. Once you form this one, this acts as a electrophile. Now, this aromatic ring acts as a nucleophile and undergoes aromatic electrophilic reaction as you see seen here and you will be able to form uh, this intermediate which can lose a proton to uh, get this uh, substitution product. So, in this way you can make this uh, bicyclic compound as the product. So, here uh, the 
reactions that uh, involves the stabilization of uh, by heteroatoms. The first example if you look at here, when you have the alkene, already we know that when you have the alkene it can act as a nucleophile which when you have the electrophile it can undergo undro addition reaction as shown. You will be able to form a cationic intermediate as shown here. Once you form this cationic intermediate that can readily undergo reaction with the nucleophile. It depends upon the nature of the substrate and it can undergo the penicillin position or as well as the less substituted, less sterically hindered carbon to give these uh, corresponding amides. Here two examples shown, the first example look at it, the reaction of this alcohol uh, in the presence of trifluoromethane sulfonic acid is given and once you protonate this uh, OH group as we have seen just now, you will be able to form So, this is a good living group. Now, it can the lone pair of sulfur can react, then you will be able to form this intermediate. Once you form this uh, three membered cationic intermediate, which can now readily react uh, with the nitrile lone pair. In this case, the reaction takes place here, then you will be able to form uh, this product. So, if you take this. Uh, optically active alcohol and the presence of trifluoromethane sulfonic acid you can try to readily react with the uh, astronitrile uh, to give this amide with the retention configuration in 97 percent EE. It means first it undergoes SN2 reaction, you get inverted configuration. Once you form this one then again this nitrile act as a nucleophile, it reacts another SN2 then overall you will get the retention configuration product with the high enantiomeric excess. excess. That means it involves two SN2 reactions to give uh, this amide as the product. The other example involves the opening of epoxide followed by hydrolysis and in this case the presence of uh, this uh, trifluoromethane sulfonic acid you can uh, protonate this uh, oxygen. Once you protonate this one, this uh, nitrile reacts with this benzylic, this uh, substituted carbon and then you will be able to form So, this can be converted into amide as we have seen uh, in the previous examples. So, when you do the hydrolysis, so you can try to convert into amino alcohol as the product. So far we have seen how you can try to convert alkene alcohol into the corresponding amides. Then also we have seen the reaction of alcohols. The, in addition, we also have seen if you have the epoxide, you can also try to open uh, with the nitrile in the presence of acid to give amino alcohol as the product. Now, let us look at amination of alkyl halides. If you want to make primary amine, if you have the alkyl halide, if you want to convert into primary amine is one of the efficient approach is the use of Gabriel synthesis and in this if you look at here, uh, you have to start with uh, thalimide. Once you have thalimide, you can try to react with the base. For example, potassium hydroxide, you can deprotonate 
the acidic uh, proton of uh, this imide. So, you can make this salt once you form the salt which can act as a nucleophile, it can under, undergo SN2 reaction and you will be able to form this uh, imide, alkyl imide. Once you form this one which can you can react further with aqueous potassium hydroxide to equivalent then you will be, will be able to form uh, the primary amine as the product. And here the advantage is shown here in this by using this method you can try to selectively make the primary amine as a product. And this reaction works very well if you have the primary halides as the uh, electrophile and this uh, first step involves the alkylation. The second step involves the hydrolysis of uh, the thalimide and uh, using a uh, base you can convert into the corresponding primary amino acid product. And if you try to react the alkyl bromide with ammonia to convert the primary amide is, uh, so what will happen in this case, first you form this. Uh, primary amine it will further react. Uh, so, you will be able to get uh, dialkylated a mixture of mono and dialkylated amine and however, if you use this approach the cabriol synthesis selectively you can convert uh, a primary halide into the corresponding primary amine as a product where you form a carbon nitrogen bond. Here the mechanism of this reaction shown as just we have seen when you have the thalimide when you react with the base you can form the salt, once you form the salt which can undergo SN2 nuclear substitution with this alkyl halide and you will be able to form this alkyl imide. Once you form this one when you react with aqueous potassium or sodium hydroxide you can convert into as shown and you can um, undergo addition with this one then you will be able to form this intermediate once you form then you will form this. So, this can pick up this uh, proton then you will form this intermediate once you form this one now it can further react with this uh, carbonyl group amide carbonyl group you will be able to form this intermediate this can convert into the primary amine and the salt when you do the workup, you will be able to convert into the digoboxylic acid and primary amino as the product as shown here. So, cabriol synthesis is a good method if you want to convert a primary halide into the corresponding primary amine as the product. Here an example shown for the construction of this uh, trifluorobenzylamine as a product and here uh, you can see thalimide in the, has been coupled with this uh, benzyl chloride which has a fluorous substituent and this contains the presence of potassium carbonate in toluene under reflux conditions. As we have seen that now you can deprotonate uh, this proton then you have the So, which can now undergo substitution reaction then you will be able to form uh, this imide. Once you form this one when you react uh, with uh, potassium hydroxide just we have seen. So, you will be able to form this salt and this uh, difluorobenzylamine as a product where you construct a carbon nitrogen bond. So, this is an important I mean in medicinal science. On the other hand you can also uh, try to react uh, with alkyl halide in the presence of hydrazine then in this way you will be able to generate uh, primary amine this is called ink mansic modification. Uh, in the mechanism of this reaction shown for example, if you take ethyl bromide. So, you can make the salt as we have seen there if you have this thalimide. you can react with potassium hydroxide you make the salt once you form this one then it can undergo SN2 reaction. So, you will be able to form uh, this 
N alkalimide, once you form this one, now this can undergo addition reaction with this carbonyl group of the imide. This can now by proton exchange you will be able to form. So, this can be converted into uh, by opening you will form this uh, amide. Once you form this amide, this can now further undergo addition reaction with this carbonyl group of this amide then you will be able to form this intermediate can be converted into ethylamine and uh, this hydrogen as the product. So, some examples are shown here and in this case uh, you can as we have seen that instead of uh, uh, reacting with the base further you can try to react with the hydrogen and you will be able to form this um, amino ester as a product. And the another example shown here where you can try to react similar way uh, with the hydrazine in methanol solvent and you will be able to form this primary amine as the product. You can, so this reaction, so if you want to make alkyl amine, you can use this method and uh, so you can use hydrazine and you can try to get the corresponding primary amine as a product. Here an application shown uh, using the Gabriel synthesis for the synthesis of methionine. As we have seen earlier, uh, when you take this salt, when you react with this bromo derivative, you can uh, by SN2 reaction, you will be able to form this uh, imide. Once you form this one, when you react with the sodium, uh, so you can uh, convert into anion which can now undergo SN2 reaction, substitution reaction you will be able to form this alkyl derivative. Once you form this one, this when you do the hydrolysis, base hydrolysis, the hydrolysis of this uh, thalimide carbonyl group as well as this ester group can be carried out in one part, then you will be able to form this uh, melanic acid derivative. Once you form this one, this can lose carbon dioxide and then in this way you will be able to form methionine as a product. So, you can see the Cabriel synthesis is very useful if you want to make amino acid you can try to use. For example, in this case and that uh, diethyl malonate having the bromo substituent can be readily coupled via SN2 pathway and once you form this one then can be further uh, reacted with the sodium to make the anion, once you form this one which can undergo substitution with this carbon. So, once you form this one, this can make this diethyl malonic acid derivative. Once you form this uh, derivative, then we can do hydrolysis with base followed by acid and you will be able to form the dicarboxylic acid. Once you form this one, it can lose carbon dioxide to give methionine as a product. Here another example shown for the intramolecular cyclization. Here the Cabriel Coleman rearrangement is shown where you can for the construction of carbon hydrogen bond. In this reaction as we have seen earlier, uh, they have when you react with the alba chloroethylacetate, you will be able to form this ester derivative. Once when you react with with oxide and it can undergo addition reaction here and you will be able to form this ester derivative. Once you form this one, now, this can convert into this, once you form this enolate which can undergo further uh, reaction, once you form this carbon ion which can undergo uh, intramolecular cyclization as shown here and you will have this intermediate, this once you form this can give this amide, once you form this amide this can convert into the uh, isoquinoline derivative as a product. Alternatively, the base sodium ethoxide also can deprotonate this acidic proton. Once if you deprotonate, you will be able to form so this can. can be written in the enolate form. Once if you have this enolate which can undergo intramolecular cyclization to give
So this now can open up the three member ring since uh, strained then he will be able to form So, this can be converted into once you form this one, this again now can uh, further since you have the proton it can enolize uh, to give this uh, isoquinoline derivative as the product. So, an example is shown for this uh, reaction here as you can see here in this case. Uh, when you react with the base. So, this can be readily converted into uh, the cyclic compound. What you do here, you generate a new carbon nitrogen bond to make this a bicyclic compound as the product. So, here uh, the reaction of uh, epoxide is shown. When you have the epoxide, or lactone, these molecules when you have acid or Lewis acid you can readily activate and uh, so you can if you have the uh, Lewis acid you can make chelation and you can make this carbon more electrophilic in nature. So, when you have the a nitrogen nucleophile they can readily undergo nucleophilic opening then you will be able to form a carbon nitrogen bond. In this case for example, when you react this uh, amine the secondary amine and with this epoxide then you will be able to form this amino alcohol as the product. And now uh, this reaction has been well explored and if you have uh, Lewis acid like uh, cobalt chloride or any cobalt complex they can make chelation with uh, oxygen and this can be uh, this carbon can be more electrophilic nature. Now, the nucleophile can readily undergo nuclear opening uh, reaction with this carbon to give this amino alcohol as the product. Here the reaction is ammonia with the ethylene oxide is shown and you will be able to form this amino alcohol as the product. Once you have this one this amine can further act as a nucleophile you can open the epoxide and you will be able to form. So, this can further react with the another equivalent of epoxide then you will be able to form uh, this tertiary amino alcohol as a product. As you can see here and in this one molecule of ammonia can react with the three equivalent of ethylene oxide and then you will be able to form uh, this uh, tertiary amino alcohol as a product. And similarly look at this one in this case this lactone when you react with ammonia it can be readily opened in this way you will make you will be able to make beta alanine as the uh, product. So, you where you generate a carbon nitrogen bond in this case this carbon act as a electrophile the opening uh, the amine attacks this one then you will be able to form uh, this beta alanine as the product. Here uh, the substitution reaction shown uh, the reaction between this alkyl halide and uh, silver nitride when you take the silver nitride there is a possibility of the formation of two product it shows that now when you write. So, now this nitrogen lone pair this this is called ambient nucleophile. So, the lone pair of nitrogen can react if you have for example, alkyl bromide see the lone pair of this uh, nitrogen reacts by SN2 pathway 
you will be able to form this as the product. You make a a carbon nitrogen bond. On the other hand, if the oxygen reacts, it is actually a nucleophile. So, then So, you will be able to form this as a product. So, in this case both the oxygen and nitrogen acts a nucleophile. When the nitrogen acts a nucleophile, you will be able to form this alkyl nitrate as the product, this is a major compound. On the other hand, in this reaction also, this oxygen also acts a nucleophile, then you make the CO bond. And this same thing happens in the case of secondary bromide when you react with silver nitrate and ether solvent, a mixture of both uh, compound are observed where the nitrogen as well as oxygen they act as a nucleophile. And in the, in the case of tetrabutyl chloride and mainly this uh, oxygen acts as a nucleophile and uh, so where uh, you get trace amount of uh, the product that uh, is formed by the uh, nitrogen nucleophile. The next example involves the reaction of acide with uh, alpha bromo carboxylic acid and this can also act as a nucleophile which can undergo substitution with this, this alkyl bromide to give this uh, intermediate once you form this acide which can be readily reduced using uh, palladium charcoal as the catalyst in the presence of hydrogen and you can do the hydrogenation in this way you will be able to generate alpha alanine as a product. So, here we have seen the nitrate as a nucleophile, if you have alkyl halide, it can undergo readily substitution reaction to give the alkyl nitrate as the product. If you have acide that also can act as a nucleophile which can readily undergo substitution reaction with alkyl bromide or alkyl iodide to give the corresponding substituted alkyl acid as the product. This alkyl acid can be further reduced using uh, palladium charcoal. Uh, in the presence of hydrogen to give uh, amine derivative as a product. Here uh, the next uh, example involves the reaction of hydrazine with uh, alkyl iodide. Here the reaction of between this hydrazine and methyl iodide is shown. Uh, first uh, the, the lone pair of uh, the nitrogen and undergoes reaction is acts as a nucleophile, this acts as electrophile and substitution reaction you will be able to form this uh, methylated hydrogen as the product. Once you form this one. Now, this can, this is more nucleophilic comparing to this nitrogen, it can undergo further nucleophilic substitution. In this way, you will be able to form dimethyl uh, hydrogen as the product. So, if you remember the, uh, the beginning, the Cabriel synthesis, we selectively reacted uh, the imide, we converted the imide into the corresponding salt, then we carried out the nucleophilic substitution to give uh, the alkyl amide the product. Uh, that is the reason and if you use uh, amine or ammonia and it can readily undergo further reaction with alkyl halide to give a mixture of di and uh, monoalkylated amine derivatives. Uh, this is an example where you can see here it undergoes further reaction with alkyl halide you get the uh, dialkyl amine derivative as the product. The next example involves the reaction of uh, this alkyl urea with uh, potassium hydroxide and Br2, it, it can give this uh, hydrazine as the product uh, through Hoffman bromination. In summary, so we have seen today the for several approaches for the construction of carbon hydrogen bond. First, we have seen the principles of uh, the reactions of nitrogen nucleophiles with carbon electrophiles. For example, if you have a secondary amine, you can try to react with the carbonyl compound like formaldehyde where it, the carbonyl group acts as electrophile, you can carry out addition reaction. Then also we have seen an example if you for example methyl iodide, it can act as electrophile, you can carry out the substitution reaction. If you have the acid chloride, then also you can carry out the addition reaction in this way you will be able to form the amide. We also have seen uh, some examples if you have the for example, nitro group, it can act as a 
electrophile, if you have the nucleophile which can undergo addition reaction. In principle, so if you have a nitrogen nucleophile, the carbon electrophile, you can make a carbon nitrogen bond. On the other hand, if you have the nitrogen electrophile and carbon nucleophile, you can also make carbon nitrogen bond. We have seen uh, some examples. The first example is a Ritter reaction, which works very well with uh, tertiary alcohol or substituted alkene in the presence of acid you can convert into the corresponding carbocation. Once you form the carbocation, you can try to readily react with the nitrile and uh, followed by uh, reaction with water, you will be able to form amide as the product. We have seen some examples. Later, we also have seen the use of cobalt chloride as a catalyst to convert uh, alcohol into a state that can be further reacted with the nitrile to give allylic amide as the product. This system works very well with if you have allylic alcohol. A Ritter reaction is good if you have the tertiary alcohol or substituted alkene. We also have seen some example, for example, cyclohexene. You can also try to react. You can make the corresponding um, amide as the product. Then we have seen if you have alkyl halide, how you can convert into primary amine as the product. If you have thalimide, you can try to deprotonate this acidic proton. Once you form the nucleophile using base, then you can try to react with the alkyl halide. In this way, you can make alkyl thalimide. Once you form this alkyl derivative, you can try to react with the aqueous base. In this way, you will be able to form alkyl amine. Then we have seen one example, the synthesis of uh, methionine. There is also modification. When you do the uh, reaction, you can also react with the hydrazine. Uh, if you have the N-alkyl thalimide, then you can also react with the hydrazine. This is called ink mansic modification. In this way also you can convert, if you have alkyl halide, you can convert into corresponding uh, primary amine as a derivative. We also have seen uh, uh, rearrangement, Cabriel uh, Coleman rearrangement. If you have, uh, you can also try to do intramolecular uh, rearrangement, then you can you will be able to form uh, isoquinoline derivative as the product. Then we have seen the reaction of amines with uh, epoxides. We have taken uh, uh, some simple examples. This reaction has been now well explored. If you have the Lewis acid and you can make chelation with your oxygen that can be readily reacted with amine and in this way uh, you can make a carbon nitrogen bond. You can readily react with epoxide or aceridine. Uh, with amine, you will be able to make a new carbon nitrogen bond by nucleophilic opening. And also we have seen then uh, the reaction of uh, methyl iodide with hydrazine. You can also make uh, CN bond by nucleophilic substitution. But here the over alkylation takes place. If you take hydrazine, we have seen that uh, two uh, methyl iodide undergoes further reaction with the uh, methyl hydrazine to give the dimethyl hydrazine as the product. Then we have seen one of the way to make monoalkyl hydrazine, the Hoffman rearrangement we have seen. For example, if you have the uh, N-alkyl thiourea, you can try to react with the base in the presence of uh, bromine, then you will be able to make the monoalkylated hydrazine. And uh, these are the examples. You can see here all the reactions are uh, very useful. You can uh, use this method to selectively make a carbon hydrogen bond. With this, we conclude this lecture. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.